Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Oh, another episode of Soko Loco coming at ya. We're on mission what? Oh, bless you. You okay? My cat has the sneezies. You okay, Nico? You're such a pretty boy. Uh, what was I think? Oh, we're on 1-4. We're building the monument. We have, we spent the first episode just accumulating resources. That's all we were doing. Um, I wanted to get some materials going. I need you to, no. There we go. I want you to keep going. Let's get some more bricks. I keep calling this clay, um, but it's bricks. Okay, we have our warehouse. We have our steel set up. Um, hum -a -num, hum -a -num, hum -a -num, hum -a -num. I want to get some bread going. Where's the nearest windmill? I thought we had a second windmill. We do. It's over there. Boo. But we've cleared out some land. Yay. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and do... All the freaking things over there. Alright, I was gonna... Oh god, there's so many things I want to accomplish. There's so many things I want to accomplish. It's difficult to think which thing I should do first. That's kind of where I'm at right now, is I want to get a lot of stuff going on, but I don't know what the best idea is. And maybe there's no such thing as a best idea, right? Maybe that's kind of a fallacy in its own right. Um, let's see here. Cut her there. Cut her there. Um... Okay. I think I know how I want to proceed. Uh, zoom in. Yep, thank you. I was trying to use the wheel when the wheel wasn't going to work. That works. Okay. And then I'll need a way for you to come back. Um, how you do it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, actually, it really matters to me, because you can't get at any of this stuff. The topology of the game is such that as long as you have a way for a train to turn around, it's perfect. Unfortunately, life isn't perfect. Uh, as a general rule. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to seal you in there. That works. Okay. What I need to get to from here, though, is a stonemason, which I don't have access to yet. Um, another smelting oven. Uh, let's get rid of this train. How are we going to do that? Mm. I made so many bad decisions starting, but I'm still learning. <laughs> eh, frustrate. Okay, Nico. Yes, you get all the pets after I'm done recording, if you could. I wish I had a cat cam so I could show you what I'm dealing with. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have a webcam. Uh, I, I'm, I could put something in after the fact, but that's a little lame. Okay. Thank you, and scoot. Please? Please scoot. <laughs> I wanna record, Nico! Okay, very good. Uh, we're working on that. Get that going on. We have this. Um, this doesn't matter all too much. What I need to do is I need to hook up these stations so that they are linked to whatever production I'm looking at. Um, this is working out pretty well. Once that's all mined out, we can knock that out. We can move the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to wait for that to finish up. Let's just beef this up real quick. This shouldn't take much longer. This already has three workers. Let that get cleared out. And there's that. There's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this lumber linked in... And we're going to start processing everything. For this... I need a way to produce steel. 
and then also pick up steel. What I've been hoping to do is use the same station for both. Which I don't know how that might work. And maybe that doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Man, this is touchy, right? Do we do something like this? There's the end product. Because this station doesn't touch it, this station does. So, ending steel. There we go. That builds more of that backbone that I, I was talking about. We don't have too much more work to do here. Then I'm going to clean all this out. Go get them, boys! And it looks like we're done. Oh, I see. Yay, yay, yay! Oh, uh... Because the train it created is gone. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> that went terribly. This doesn't have to be particular at all. This has to be 0% particular. Cool. Okay. So in the original directions, it says once you've built a train, you cannot delete the garage. Which is what I took to heart, literally, canonically, like everything. Like, I've built a train. This garage is here to stay. But... But... Yep. Once you've deleted all the trains that were created by a station, it's a done deal. Cool. Okay. Now I've got all my resources back. Okay. We're now completely back square as if we did nothing at all. We have a ton of resources, which is great. I needed that. Uh, we're looking pretty, pretty good now. So what does this amount to? What does this tant amount to? Tant amounts to something like this. Good. That's what I need. We have an input, we have an output, and we have a bypass. All the trains should take the bypass. The bypass is cheaper. It's less expensive. That's the way I'm phrasing it. Uh, when a train calculates a path, whether it's open TTD or Factorio or anything like I played with trains, um, a train calculates its routes and it says, how expensive is this route that I want to take? Well, how expensive is this route? How expensive is this route? And it just goes through and chugs through everything and then decides what's the what's the cheapest, right? Um, actually, this is going to be a problem because every train is going to want to come through here. Um, this is kind of an issue. Can I do... Bueno. That's perfect. Uh, I'm going three length. I don't know if that's smart or going to be the cause of my demise, but I'm excited to see how this goes. This is how this is going to work. It's always the cheapest route to take the first exit. I'm, I'm kind of rolling with the punches here. So that's how we'll get stone. That's how we'll get steel. This is how we'll get raw lumber. Um, I need to also do hookups for bread. Now this is going to be interesting. There we go, because I needed to take this cheaper path. Uh, this can just... Nope. That turned out terribly. Nope, that also turned out terribly. I, I love that I can right-click to cancel what I was building. That's so nice. Okay, there's some of that. This all inevitably has to link together, so let's make sure we take care of that now before this gets dastardly out of hand. Okay, we have our loop. Excellent. Um, I'm really hoping we can force a train to go a very specific direction, 
Or this is going to be terrible. Like T E R R arable. I don't know if that's how you spell terrible. That's how I'm gonna spell terrible. If anyone asks, that's how you spell terrible. Sounds like arable. Comes off as terrible. Okay. Okay. Uh, these little bypasses are more expensive, so there's no reason why someone would take them. Someone's going to always take this route as well, so that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a bypass. If something doesn't need to go this way, it won't. It'll take the shortcut. That kind of trims out a lot of riffraff. Building these little intersections really adds up. In a good way. So we have wheat. We have wheat. We have a windmill. Perfection. Okay, let's concentrate on our workforce, because I've been ignoring that for most of the game. Uh, garage. I can't rotate the garage. Boo. Nope. Cool. Okay, let's do this by the numbers. What would really help, and in every other game I've played... So this is another spot where, like, I'm expecting a level of complexity that I can apply, but I just can't here. But one of the things I'd really love is, like, a one-way signal or something. And maybe we'll get signals later? I thought I saw something about signals. Um... Yep, let's do... Okay. What I want to do right now is work on... Foodstuffs. Ah. Hi. And we have to hook this up to a village. Uh. Which will be messy in its own right, but I think we can get it figured out. Cool. I think that covers everything. I want you to go there, and then I want you to go there. That's a drop-off. Have fun. I'm honestly still super not used to the... Uh, kicking stuff out. And I'll let you come through, my friend. Did I get did I get you right? I think I did. Okay. Should work. Oh, I probably need another drop off. Maybe we extend these trains a little bit. I'm not sure quite yet. But I think once this train makes a full pass, we'll have two breads. I don't know if the wheat goes bad. The bread does? Question mark? I don't know if the wheat does. Process that into breads. Let's see what we can do for our workforce. There's a bread. There's a bread. Two wheats. This is working very well. That should get us another pop, shouldn't it? Hey, nice. Uh, I'm hoping for one more pop out of this village. Out of this city center. If we can get one more, that would be great. And then I'll do the other one. Yeah, let's just crank it up. Perfect. Uh, can we go for a fourth? I'm being kind of greedy, but can we go for a fourth?
Oh, we'll just have to wait and see. So what I would expect is it to grade one, one and a half breads. Oh, it got knocked out. <laughs> Dude got knocked out of the station. Uh, not ideal. Uh, we might be fine. This is gonna be a bit of a grind, but if we can just get one more person without, like, a lot more effort, that would be dope. Uh, farming wheat doesn't expire ever. Like, it's... it's fine. You can just sit there. Boom, boom! Okay. Let's slow this down. Uh, that can just keep going for a hot minute. The other station's up here, and I don't have enough bread. Or I don't have enough wood to make that fly. So let's see, lumber camp. I have a sawmill here. So here's another kind of sticky gotcha. This train would have to load up here and go all the way around to Narnia to actually get the materials I want it to get, which is terrible. Absolutely suck. Not great. Okay, there's the station. Um... Let's see, I could build two more trains. We could just do it. I don't have enough wood to make this happen, like, cleanly. Well, let's just get this going on. I don't think there's any harm. I've got a lot of... well, I don't have a lot of it anymore. Nope. Okay, let's see how that jones us. Jones us? Does us? Whatever, get, get going, mate. Uh, what did you just drop off? Did you drop something off? I hope you didn't. So what we would do is we build another intersection like here, going up, so the train doesn't have to go all the way around to transport product. We're not there yet. But something like this is how we would set this up. So we have our main skeleton, and think of these like little branches, right? Maybe a tree is a better analogy. But that's kind of that's kind of how I'm foreseeing all this. Speed this up just a tad. Cool. Instead of six, that's going to make us ten planks. Uh, okay. Something went wrong. Gosh darn it. I thought I had that. Okay, well, you got disinterested and whatever, it's fine. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're not we're not gonna make it, and that's completely fine. So now we're gonna do this, like I said like that. So, the only train that's really going to take this is going to be the wood train. The raw wood train. Otherwise, everything else has to come up to this windmill. Yep, raw wood train absolutely took it. Excellent. Uh, we'll keep this going until I have, I don't know, a hundred more wood? I'm excited. This is all starting to really come together. Uh, very, very soon. We're going to come up here to this other city center, and I'm going to bring the bread up there instead. That being said... Um, get like four more workers? Three more workers? Whatever? And then I'll just shut down all of the food production, because I don't need to bother with it anymore. And, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Bread and butter my economy right there. <laughs> Weird K 
caterpillar thing we got going on here. I don't know what a better analogy is. Oh, you got booted out. Oh, you didn't have anything to drop off because the bread was full. That's fine. Okay, let's get into the path going here. Um... Sure, that works. Where's my bread mobile? Uh, you are. Oh, ah, you missed. Okay, that's fine. Go all the way around. And up, and dump. Hey, new home! That bread's gonna go bad. Like, hella hella quick. It's gonna go bad in transit? Yep. Huh! It doesn't ma- okay. Green doesn't matter. Green means it's going bad. I'm guessing it disappears, or turns black, or becomes unusable, or something? Like, it turns, like, rotted, or something. Uh, population one of six. I got the workers, though. What? I'm confused. Where do I have workers at all? Like, in the lumber camp, and that's it, right? No. Two workers? Two workers? Hmm, I am losing population? No. Two, four, six, seven, three free. Yeah, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, I'm not too sure what the deal is. But we're down to one person, even though I have all the workers, so... Question mark? I'm not sure how this works. Uh, are the workers less effective? So here's where, like I said, I could use a little more instructionals about this. The houses are built. I have the workers. Um, so I guess we're fine. Uh, how many more workers we at? Uh, I can get two more with our current supply, demand, production setup and everything. So we'll get one more, and then uh, I'll just shut off a bunch of the stuff. Uh, two more runs? Three more runs? Uh, I think we're not doing it fast enough. We're just barely not fast enough, and that's okay. I don't think I actually need the other workers, so what we're gonna do is we're going to just shut off these trains... ...when they get to where they need to be. You know what, now that I think about it, these look more like tractors than trains, but that's okay. Yeah, with the front, with the front bit, these look a lot more like tractors. Old farming implements rather than trains. Um, anyway, okay, we've got 11 people, I'm pretty happy with that. The objective is steel, so let's work on steel. We have wood here, I'm still taking much of the wood over to the... ...warehouse. Warehouse? Their house. Uh, so that's good. We have stone here. Stone. We'll run stone. We'll run wood. We'll start this whole steely dealy, right? Uh. And you meant steel takes. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, you. When you're done, we're gonna- we're just gonna set you back up there, we're gonna shut you off. I'll take that. Um, actually... You're the more important one to shut off. Toot toot. Perfect. Your directions are gonna have to change. Instead of going up there, you're gonna go right there and you're gonna unload. Perfect. Um, I need another train to get me some stone. Good, thank you. Oh, let's see here. Needs me a choo-choo. Needs me some stone. Um, it doesn't make any sense to haul more than one stone at a time. I'm gonna haul two stone anyway. And then I need another train. This is all gonna get very out of hand, very stupidly, very quickly, and I'm excited for it. Okay. Let's see how this works. Oh, uh... This sucks. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you could... There we go. Just sit up there, please. Okay. Uh, this is step one of ten. So... Steel arrives, you do the thing... Okay, we'll just have to see what else is required. That's not what I wanted. That's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Shoot. Okay, yep. Um... Hmm. The problem is I can't designate what is an input and what's an output. So transferring more than two items around doesn't make any sense. Either way, we'll get it done. Oh, uh, I just bring it more steel. Okay. Cool, I guess? Do I just leave this on fast and we just knock this out? I don't know what to do. Uh, what I could do is I could work on additional resources because we're going to be very soon short on the stuff. In that order. All those SH words. Shun short on the stuff. Uh, here's what I'd like to do. Nope. There we go. Yep, and because it didn't create a train. Easy fix. So, the only thing I'd ever have to come here for is lumber. I don't need that much track, thanks. So now what I want is another- I'll need another lumber camp to run more stuff around. We're not there yet, but soon. Uh, how we doing? Keen steel? I'll just kick this up to max until we run out of resources on some stuff. We're about to run out of stuff on some stone, yo. I'm out of station bits. Uh-oh. Cool. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do... Yep. Neato Torpedo. Okay, where's my stone train? You are. You're gonna go there instead. Nope, hold on. 
Cool. That fixed that. It has three workers. Yeah, we're just waiting for some of that to get filed in. We're on level three. More steel. I was hoping it was going to be like a little bit of wood, a little bit of brick, a little bit of whatever. Uh, that's kind of how it worked with uh, Autonauts. Autonauts operated that way. They had multi-stage structures, and the way it worked was first stage is logs of lumber and sticks or something. The second one was like bricks, and the third one was like blah 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 blah. So it was all different crap as it went on upgrading. Oh uh, yeah, just fast forward this thing. We didn't even utilize half the map's resources by a significant margin. There's a lot more resources to be had, but it's worked out pretty well. And lumber camp go there. Cool, that covers all of it. Nice, 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 nice. And we'll just change the ch change. We'll change the train's orders. Blah blah blah. More steel. This didn't work out too bad. Gosh, I start I start recording, and one of two things, it's law. It's galactic law or something. Either my job bothers me or my cats. Or my cats. So the foodstuffs at this version of the game or whatever seem like a very temporary thing. You get everyone nice and fat and fed, and then they're committed workers for life. I don't have to keep feeding them. Seems like a little bit of a nearsighted thing to me. Maybe. Uh, last time I checked as a biological, people need sustenance regardless. But hey, what, what do I know, right? What do I know about stuff? What is... Oh, we're out of wood. Okay. Uh, where's our wood train? Uh, I wish there was a pause so I could work on stuff better, but that's okay. That's kind of the charm of it as well, maybe. Okay. That reclaimed a little bit of brick. Uh, let's just crank this up to max, yo. Take it all the way to 11. So I guess this is a good example of if I'm gonna load and unload stuff, I should use just one station. The only problem I have is if we have, like, three slots and I have trains designed like this and they dump off two lumber and two stone, um, I'm not confident that lumber and stone won't just fill everything and then I have nowhere to put the steel. Uh, which would be also equally awkward. On stage, we're halfway through this thing. That's crazy. Uh, on three trains, no less. Like, I'm not adding a ton of extra stuff. This is working out pretty good. Uh, realistically, the game rewards more trains, less freight. So, one, one train engine to one cargo car is kind of the ideal... I think that's the ideal formula. Form, the formula... Like, Krusty Krabs, Mr. Krabs. I already have a secret formula. <laughs> I don't know why. But there are certain things in my brain that just resonate real, real hard, and I'll never forget them. Uh, Mr. Krabs saying formula is one of those things. Do I know why? I don't know why. Do I care? I don't care. Uh, I don't need this train anymore. I don't need the steel, but I like having my lines clean. Uh, how, I, I'm not even paying attention. What level are we on now? Six? Cool. Is it a giant soup? Are we making a massive soup? Looks like clam chowder. Some sort of a... Clam ch Maybe a cream? A cream broth, maybe? 
start with five gallons of 2% milk. Add a bowl. Congratulations, you just made milk soup. <laughs> it's just... I don't know what we're making. Uh, we probably won't have enough stone to finish. Um, but what I could do is I could always tap. I mean, there's a lot of resources I haven't even touched yet. Yeah, I still think we're making some kind of a cream soup. In an iron breastplate? Plate mail, clearly. I mean... Clearly plate mail, of some regard. Now, here's one thing we could experiment with, which I would like to. Is we can experiment with warehouse stations. Right? That was something somewhere. Hmm. Build a monument. That's not helpful. Um, what we can do is we can build a station here that loads up stone and then drops off stone here once this station is used up. So, oh. I, that is the biggest wine glass I've ever seen. That's, that's where we're at now. Are we building like an all-seeing eye? Is this the first part of a Dyson Sphere? What are, what are we even making? Like, without the sun? What's this, what's this? I know what we're making. We're making a giant Cadbury cream egg out of iron and um, cream of chowder soup. Cream, ew, cream of mushroom soup. Ew, yeah, I stand by ew. Okay, there's a lot of intricacies to this game that I still have to get through my head when it comes to how trains operate. Is that a bad thing? No, I have some learning to do. Learning's not bad. Uh, the thing where this becomes complicated is, like I said before, is <laughs> having trains take the closest path all the time um, has been frustrating for setting up a proper network. But what I have to do is make sure I've got these intersections, these branches. So the main thing is maybe the trunk, these are branches, and then these little offset stations are twigs. Maybe think of it like that. Branches allow for the sap in a tree to flow nicely, and the twigs are just there for support, right? That's where I need to pull the pull the nutrients from. I think about it. Think about it like that, maybe. Okay, we are out of stuff. So let's do a test. Like I said, let's keep. Let's see if we can make this the way I want to make this. Oh, uh... Yeah. That's fine. One, oh, no, no. One, one back, one back, one back. Is that... Whoa, does that work? Oh, oh god. Okay, cancel the whole thing. <laughs> After a moment, that was like, oh no. I'm out of stuff. That's fine. I don't need more stuff. That doesn't look like that connects at all. Hot diggity dog. That'll do. Okay, so I need a new train. Uh... Ah. Hot dang. Okay, cool. I'm excited. I can't believe that worked. Um, Train me, boy. Hit me up. Uh, I need a one of these. I need uh, one of these. I probably don't need two, but that's okay. I need you to go here. And then I need you to go here. Have fun. Oh, cripes. I'm out of stuff. Don't need that no more. Aww. 
So this is this is an example of a transfer station, I think is how it was phrased. Uh, stone gets mined here, and then brought to here, and then picked up by a different train entirely. And because we have load and unload orders, it works out just fine, right? So drop. Yeah, there you go. So that's the idea of a transfer station. Uh, this is very rude and rudimentary, and it doesn't really work super great. Um, I, I can think of other games where I could represent the theory of it better, but this is this is the the idea of it, right? We're on the last stage already. Holy jinkies! Final stage. I don't. It's a. Is it a? Wait, it's a rocket. It's a rocket filled with cream of mushroom soup. I still think it's soup, honestly. So what I'm trying to do is actually most of the work I possibly can without bridges. Bridges are an option. We've had them since the beginning of the game. Bridges, here we go. Um, I just haven't used them. Where we would use bridges is, think of like an off-ramp on a highway. We build a highway out of the bridge. And then anytime we need to go somewhere else, we just pull an off-ramp off of it. And that would kind of be how that works. But realistically, as it stands right now, I'm really happy with doing as much as we can on the ground. And we'll use bridges when we need them. A level complete. Monument percent achievement unlocked. Cool. I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. Let's quit that shiz. You've unlocked a level editor. You can now make and play custom scenarios using the Steam Workshop. Okay, cool. Uh, alright. Next. Excellent. Uh, oh, I didn't get a star for that one? Aww. Beat in one hour. How long did I take? Oh my god. Yeah, we were sitting for a long time just letting it go. Uh, and that's okay. Let's go ahead. Money. River. No furnace. Interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and call us an episode. Thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. We just finished up the Woods campaign. Toot toot. I'm sure it's the other way around. Something like that. Toot toot. Anyway, yep. Thanks for... yeah. Another episode of Soko Loco. And I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.